Stop selling 20 ounces on the stove. Bro, 16.9? Thought these was 20. I only bought them because they already cool. They used to be at least. Yeah, they used to be 20. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> They're like, okay, we're going to leave the same height. I ain't going to notice. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, welcome to Politics is Evil, <laughs> episode 14. 14. Um, yeah, so we're going to be talking about um, Lil Nas X, um, Nipsey Hussle, uh, rest in peace, and um, the Joker problem, or the Heath Ledger problem, however you want to phrase that. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube and the Kids Wear Crowns dot com. Um, we doing the code open still? Yeah. Um, well, first, we, we'd be remiss if we didn't start off this episode by saying rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle as I'm trying yeah, to open a bottle of liquor. <laughs> 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 Why is this shit not open? I don't recall this being this difficult to open last time I purchased this. Um, but yeah, rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle, first and foremost, man. Um, that's not a laughing matter. We're just yeah, laughing it's, about it. It's, it's one of those things that... It's still hard to process. It's and granted, they aren't the same magnitude of star. I know exactly what you're gonna say, and yes, it totally is the same. It, it's, it's to me this. It, it's I, I was probably died in what September of twenty of, of 1996. Yeah, yeah. So I was on my way to being nine. I was eight, headed to nine. And um, I, granted, I don't know what adults were thinking back then, but I do remember there just being this like overwhelming. Sadness of a of a, a brilliant mind lost so young, and um, to me it's the same with Nip. Like when the news broke on Sunday, man, I didn't eat. Like normally on Sunday, um, I'm working. I usually get off around eight thirty nine and eight thirty nine o'clock, and usually I go like work out. I got a routine. I I, I get done. I get I, I get done with work. I work out. Um, do some meal prepping, uh, sit down and, and either do some coding, watch some TV, um, write something, and I couldn't do anything. Yeah, um, Sundays are usually my days to unplug. Um, I got done watching, actually I think I just got done watching Duke Lewis, um, shot design with Williamson, but anyway, so, um, so I, I turn on the PlayStation, play, you know, play a game in NBA Live, yes I play NBA Live. And still I, holding on to yeah, it. still holding on to it. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the jumper nice, but yeah. So, so I pull out my phone, pull out my phone, and scroll through Twitter, and it says somebody shot Nipsey six times, one time in the head, and I was like, whoa. And then I was like, I was like, okay, maybe this is one of those things because I don't see an official source. And then you know, you hear that death mail, that TMZ, that TMZ tweet that's, that confirms, it, and then once they, you know, once they confirm, it's. So yeah, man, it's, it's that's a weird thing that TMZ has become like. The com like I remember when when Michael Jackson died. Yeah. And TMZ was one of the first to report, and everybody was like, "I'll wait till somebody other than TMZ yeah. reports it." And now. And now, like you wait for the TMZ right report to kind of feel Cause like TMZ, it's official because TMZ has it before like major other major publications do. So which is a whole other yeah, which is so, a whole other thing. But like, um, that's slimy. But yeah, yeah, it, it, it like it just I just felt like like. Not necessarily a sadness, but it was just like, like, damn. Yeah. Like here, here, here's a brother that's out here doing the stuff that we wish more of our right. celebrities and, and people with means would do. Um, he's out here investing money into, you know, his community. Um, he's out here. He was trying to build a, a, a STEM yeah. research today. People keep saying stem cell research. You people are idiots. Yeah, it's yeah. STEM, science, technology. Uh, engineering, engineering and mathematics. and mathematics like he, he was out here building a stem facility he was and he was um, a perfect example of someone not letting their limitations like you know basically not letting their 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 upbringing their community limit what they would do because he he has a brilliant mind and um 
like one of my favorite things about Nipsey is what um, if you go in the marath yeah if you would win the marathon store and um, scan like a barcode on one of the t-shirts like like a QR code like that technology like that that app on the phone would give you a song like just by so like the way he did his merch the like his interest in just technology there's a fascinating article I think he's either Rolling Stone or GQ I can't remember where he's just talking about well, he's just talking about business structures, you know, like of, of corporations. And, and he was like, you know, I want to make marathon clothing, like an institution. Like he's such a brilliant mind. And it's a shame that we lost on that. Yeah, like I think I think the thing that irritated me the most about it was the immediate reaction of people when he was shot to say, this is exactly why you can't do nothing for niggas. This is exactly why you need to move away from it. And I'm like, really? Like y'all immediate reaction after, him, after this dude gets shot is this is why you shouldn't do that. If, if, if that were the case, what? if that were the case, he would have got famous. He would have moved away, and he would have done absolutely nothing for his community in the first place. So that makes no sense. Yeah, and, like there, there would be no legacy if he would have moved away. Exa so that exactly. makes no sense. Like like that irritated me more than anything. I was like, really, y'all first reaction when he gets shot is to blame other black people. Like y'all, like people was just acting like it was just a mob of angry hood dudes that like rolled up and sprayed the shop up no yeah. it was someone who knew him yeah. who had a grudge against him who walked up and shot how do you think he'd be able to walk up and shoot him right. like that with with and obviously he felt comfortable enough getting close that's that just irritated the mess out of me and while i was doing that uh ryan walked in um, and, <laughs> and was dancing while i'm i'm over here trying to uh say something serious <laughs> regarding nip <Yeah. laughs> ryan's trying to get me to laugh and look like an a-hole <laughs> 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 I just wanted people to know what she was doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we had to we had to point it out. Uh, we, yeah, we, it's, we, it's cool. I mean, we, Ryan and his lovely wife Jessica. How are you? How are you? Pleasure meeting you. I'm, I'm jumping in the shot. Yo, that's man, how that? Grab that stool over there. Which one? Okay, it's, it's over there between the things. You don't. You wouldn't like to sit there. You gonna stay over there? You gonna stay over there, baby? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's enough room up here. Ryan, you, right, you might have to sit on the table. <laughs> you know, how'd y'all got the, uh, y'all got, y'all got, y'all in the corner. Bro, guess what? What's up? Hold up, hold up, hold up. What? How many ounces did a uh, Sprite bottle used to be? I thought it used to be like 16, like a water bottle. No, 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 no. no. It was 20. It was 20. It was 20. Yeah, look at that. See, what they do is, the bottle is the same height, but it's the width. It's not fat. Yeah. It lost weight. Yeah. Trump's America. Yeah. Well, they, Trump's America would be fat. But they, but they cost oh. more. But, they, but it costs more. But it costs more. Okay, okay, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. You're right. It's a common job. Yeah. Yeah. You're paying more for less. Right, right. Okay. Trump, Trump's America. Yeah. Trump's America. Right. I'm with it. Um, yeah. yeah, that was a, a very bad segue for me, yeah. but I just I had to find a way to introduce Ryan. It's okay. Um, so I had to let would you people like know. Some? Yeah, would you like anything? Great. Okay. Okay. You gotta come at least on every time. <laughs> at least. You don't, you don't have to get on camera if you want. Don't let him. Don't let, don't let, don't let, don't let him lie to you. I need to make up and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Welcome. And why do you look like an African? <laughs> I'm glad you came here because I, I told Ryan we're going to dispel this room and I'm not African. I'm from Marengo County, Alabama. Sounds I've never African been to me. Where are your ancestors from? I mean, everybody's from West Africa. Yes, but specifically where yours from? How far back? I tried to, I tried to trace now I couldn't. Like I said, I'm from the country. Like I tried to trace my ancestry. I couldn't. No, because I have I, to get Dr. Um, I know someone and they all look alike and he is. No! He, like, he could Okay, I, I will say this. His okay. parents came over from Africa and so, you know, he's living here. I will say this. Um, you know, yeah, you got someone that trying to pray. While, while we're telling on a, like, a tangent, I'm going to tell a story. So I went to UA and. Um, I was at the Ferg Center and this Nigerian guy was like, okay, Chuku, okay, Chuku. And then he started chasing me. I was like, who the fuck is this? So I took off, so I took off running and I got on the elevator. And I was like, whoa, whoa. And then, um, so anyway, um, I, I'm like, skip a few weeks later, I'm in the library, press the door on the elevator and um, the elevator opens up. And like, Dan Ringer is a guy who looks exactly like me. I'm not exaggerating, exactly like me. And we just kind of stare at each other. It's like the Spider-Man meme. It's like, because he, he looks like exactly like me. So people used to get us mixed up. And um, 
But basically, yeah, uh, um, that's why most people think I'm African because this guy named Ok Chukwu, he also went to um, UAB. Um, he did a Doctors Without Borders thing. He, he hates me, by the way. But um, I appreciate it. What you do? What you do? I can't say, okay. Uh, but, uh, oh, oh, you messed with his girl? <laughs> David oh. Blaine. <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, but so, so yeah, um, okay, Chuku, he hates me. He said, oh, Martin Luther King would be very disappointed in me. I was like, oh, oh so that's why you once told me if, if I'm the reason Trayvon Martin got shot. You was paying that insult forward. Well, he was serious. Whoa. I was joking. Oh, I was joking. Yeah, the first time I met Ron, he told me this. Hey, he see, he in, like, in, in the Birmingham Museum, yeah. Art on the Rocks. Yeah, oh, mm. I was looking at something and I said something. He was like, "Man, you the reason Trayvon got shot?" I was like, "Whoa, wow, wow." <laughs> so that's so that's gonna be the running story every episode, I guess. I mean, you said it. I know I said it, man. I was, that's how you introduced yourself. So I mean, that's yeah. kind of. I mean, I introduced myself. I was like, "What's up, I'm Ron?" I'm no, like, like we had been yeah. hanging like an hour before that. Right. When he said that, finally, I was okay. like, I was "Like, wow." That was also when I was when people told me I look like every man. Yeah, you were like, yeah, you like, just. But no, I'm not Nigerian. No, I'm not. The people thought you were. People thought it was because of the picture. <coughs> well, we yeah, you you have the features. Don't we all have the features? You, you have, have the them close so features. A generation or two of white features. Yeah. Mine might be like four or five. So like, especially when you throw my great granddad in there because he's white. So he just thought shit. Yeah, right. Say four or five. Okay. You can more like yeah, two, three yeah. with you. Four five on one side. You're damn, off the <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, my, my mom's super light skinned, so I, yeah. I can't I, mean, I can't talk. Both my parents are light skinned. I'm actually darker than my parents. Uh, I, it, it's still shocking to me when you said you had a brother from LA. I'm like, what? Yeah, my mom's on side from LA. Yeah, I know. When you told me that, I was like, it made sense. Like but everybody then, like, but me was born in LA. Like, but like you, yo, you have a, a sister that's the same age as my mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's not from LA. Yeah. <laughs> like, that, that was just like, wow. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the family tree. It's all over the place. Yeah, yeah. We are like the Great Migration. Like we are literally the Great Migration. <laughs> Y'all did it in reverse. So. No, we did it the way you supposed to go. So we were in my grandma's side was in Mississippi. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. And okay. so they <laughs> left. They was like, "Fuck this, we getting out of here." It's Mississippi. I was about to say we got out so, of the south. Y'all. Okay. No, no, no. They okay. they they left and went all to Chicago. Okay. And then my grandma was like, "I won't be around you niggas. I'm out." So she went to L.A. And so that's where all my mom and her siblings were born. And then on my dad's side, I don't know what happened there. Like they were Jacksonville, and then some folks in Ohio. And I don't know, but Jacksonville, I'm sorry, Florida, uh, the, that's, the real Jacksonville. That's, no, that's why I said I'm sorry. Oh, okay, yeah. Duval, Duval. Duval. <laughs> Duval. <laughs> yeah, I've heard bad things about Jacksonville. Yeah. Have you heard a good thing about Jacksonville? No. Yes. What? David Garrard. Okay, man. Come on, man. All right. Come okay. on, man. <laughs> you couldn't, you couldn't yeah. even say Byron Leftwich. You had to say David Garrard? No, no. Garrard was doing his career. Yeah. Shout out to the Queen Gray family. Mm. <laughs> okay, we've got. They had three black quarterbacks on Right, at one time. At one time. And y'all was sleeping. And the NFL let it happen. Let it happen. Yo. At one time. Hey. Three black quarterbacks. Hey, Bruce, Ar Bruce Arians is trying to get the most. Diverse coaching staff together. Sure he's, a, he's, serious, a, he's, a, he's a one man Rooney rule with his Kangol. Basically, <laughs> that man got a Kangol on him. He's like sixty something years old. Sixty something year old white man with a Kangol on. Hey. Don't, don't mess with him. Once I go all the way home, I'm rocking Kangol. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like permanent hat. Just, like just, yeah, yeah. Just, I'm just can't, I'm gonna be Kangol'd out. Like My convertible top Kangol. Kangol's, yeah, can, Kangol's, Kangol's and velour suits. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everywhere I go. <laughs> You got the whole dog. Dog, we're back in the closet. This is whole rainbow. Dog, your Bruce Arians could wear like a canine like velour suit on the sidelines and wood. Like, it's a so open so they see how it's settled. Y'all know, y'all know I am a diehard Falcons fan, but if Bruce Arians pulled that shit off, I'd become a Beckham Buccaneer fan. Yeah, like, hey, no hesitation. Hey, we need to start the new <laughs> petition to get Nike to allow Bruce Kango to wear a velour suit yes. on the side. Yes. <laughs> like a, like with a three Stacey X velour suits with a Stacey Adams. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make that happen. <laughs> I'm down. Let's do it. We, we, I'm, I'm with it. We need yeah. to start a petition to get Bruce Bruce Arians in a, in a NFL Kangol. Actually, last year, like uh, Nike had the worst sweatsuits on sale. I almost bought them. But they had almost. Why the almost? Why the oh, they had almost? All they had was like two X. 
Okay. Uh, well, I mean, that's that's the smallest they come in. I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's like, right, right. A two X, a two X. That was the deal. A two X, a two X. Like if you translate that, a two X is like an extra small. Yeah, it's like, like it's, that's where it starts. Like, if I, I could have found like, a, if I could have found like a large, I'm probably, I'm probably. You ain't finding that. They don't, they don't make that shit. Dude, clearly, right. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Like if it's not hanging off you, like just bagging. Because I, like, I mean, you know, I, you know, I rock velours back when they were like popular yeah. again in '03. And baby they were baggy, but like baby the baggy was no, the style. Okay, okay, okay. 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 It wasn't baby fat. Okay. I had a gray, I had a gray and baby blue Fubu velour. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know I'm not gonna lie, cause Fubu was that was that was that deal back in the day. Yeah. Like Fubu was, I had like whole red Fubu jerseys, of places I'd never even been to. Yeah. And, uh, I had a New York one. Yeah, they just the had to sit on there like Chicago, New York. York. Yeah. yeah. I didn't realize I was older that everything was a knockoff of a team. Like yeah. the New York one was the Knicks yeah. jersey, but yeah. I, I didn't realize that. I <laughs> yeah, like I was like ten, I was like, oh, this is fire, and, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, we was we was all wearing Fubu, and my brother was wearing Vocal, which was Nelly's clothing line. Um, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Vocal and uh, at my school, folks had on Vocal. They had on what was the Outcast? Uh, Outcast had a clothing line. Oh, they did. I had a big old out two years. I had a big old Outcast T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is the old one that had the yeah, wings the, on it. Yeah, yeah, the old with the wings. The old with the wings. Yeah, yeah. Mine had the American flag like on, on the on the O. Yeah. Everybody had that when it came out. Everybody yeah. in my middle school had that. I had like I one shirt door, so. and then yeah. I, I once I, I, I bought one of those uh shady clothing jerseys. I'm ashamed to admit that. I think you're the only person I ever knew that. <laughs> I, remember I got I got I got chased I got chased through the woods because I had a ball shirt on here, remember boss, and people thought yeah. I was in the game. Uh, and it was like, oh, oh, it's good at a boss. Down there? Yeah, yeah. Down in Marengo, they, they yeah. had one for every person. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm gang affiliated. Right? I got it. I didn't, all all yeah. 200 people in the mop. Right? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Didn't, you, didn't you know y'all was out here. Right? Yeah, yeah. We, we were game banging. Hey, that's, that's the nicest economy suites I ever stayed in in my life. Yeah. And all I like, like, man, I was, I was, um, I was looking through the, um, the audio front preview. I was like, I'm in the club. That sounds familiar. Yeah? Yeah. I was like, oh! Okay. I'm glad you ain't seen me because. I was down and out. I'm glad you ain't time. see me, I, man. I, that, when you was talking about some, you stay in Demopolis? You know, don't tell nobody that. <laughs> yeah, I was down there for work. Yeah, I was down there because I didn't have any other work. So yeah, I was, but, but I, first I got a job a week later and was mm -hmm. able to move out of Demopolis. There you go. So, yeah. I, I I was uh, shout out to Demopolis. I drove through Demopolis once. You know? How? Because I had to. I was working for a company and uh, they bought an office in Utah. Oh, okay. Ooh, so I, had, oh God. I, had, God. I got a call wait, one. Wait, I got a call wait, one morning wait. that said, "Hey, AJ, I need you to drive to Utah." I said, "I, I had never heard of Utah." I'm like, "You thought you were driving to like Utah?" I was like, "Are you nuts?" He was like, "No, the city." I said, it's a city called Utah. Yeah, and then you try to spell it Utah. Yeah, because here's the thing: you, you hear it. Utah, and then you see the way it's spelled, said, and you're like, "That's not I the said, same thing." What? Man, I put that in my GPS. I'm like, "Bro, this shit two and a half hours away." What the? Okay, hold on. Because I've been to downtown Utah. Is that where the office was? Man, I how know. much was rent? I don't know. Was it a buck fifty? Look, we had to go up there and break into the office because there's nothing yeah. in that downtown there's that nothing. actually is is being used. Like nothing. Like there was there was uh I had to go down there. Meet my district manager down there. He's like, I need you to go down there because we need to make sure she can't. Basically, I worked for a, a tax company. I won't say which one, but I worked for a tax company. And this woman was uh, doing some fraudulent things with taxes. Oh, nothing that any of us would be shocked by. And basically, y'all had to like, you know. Yeah, we had to go down there and like make sure she couldn't go in and like change the records. Yeah. So I had to. I waited. It I took me two hours to get down there. It took me an hour to find someone who could give me a key to get into this office. <laughs> Then I get into this office and nothing's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> so, <here's, laughs> so then we go to the one restaurant in town. One. Mm -hmm. There was one restaurant yeah. in the entirety of the place. Next to the Dollar General. Yeah. And I walked in and my district manager is white. He's looking at me. He's like, oh yeah, man, let's go ahead and sit down. I'm like, bro, do you not realize that there are like three black people in here and they are all seated on one side of this restaurant? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. If y'all are not from Alabama or the South in general, here's what you have to understand about Alabama country towns. You may think that every country town is a little redneck, a little uh, enclave. No. 
So many black, so many country towns here are just straight up black. And you'll be shocked when you walk in. Yeah. And Jethro is not white. He's black. Like it's just it's a black dude in a straw hat looking at you like what you need, what you want, partner, because you're not from. Like, here. like Green County is so black that they've basically driven out all white people because they might as well be called black. Like people. nobody, as you know, there's like nobody who goes to the Mopolis is actually from the Mopolis. Mm -hmm. Like they're from something County, they're from Green County, mm -hmm. they're from all over. So people would drive all the way from Utah to go to the Mopolis because they didn't want to go to Green County. I mean, I don't blame them, but. Yeah, like. No, I, shout out to, shout out to Ms. White, the council there. We are not gonna talk about Green County or Green Park. Yeah, I like, I it was, it's, fu it's funny because I tweeted, I was like, yeah, I have to go to Utah. And Ron was like, why, why ain't God's Green Earth? Yeah, I was like, why the hell would you? I, I, I don't get that way to go home. I drive the other way. I don't. I do not take Utah to get to the Mopolis. I drive through down six. Like he, he was legit concerned for my. Like, like, I was like, bro, like, like, like what? Like, like AJ, if you need something, just let me know, bro. Like, <laughs> like you struggling? Like, what, like, what is going on in your life that you have to go to Utah? I'll help you out, bro. Just let me know. I was like, man, it's for work, man. I ain't trying to be here, but <laughs> you know. Yeah, I was down. Because that's not something you say. You don't say. I'm just going. I'm, I got to go to Utah. Like who says? Like that? nobody has. I'm nobody here. says that. I, nobody. I was there from ten to four thirty. And then had to drive back, so I didn't get home till like seven. Just driving through, the, yeah. Nah. That was. And like, what time of the year was it? Cause you know you got to watch out for those deer. Uh, like, it was like October. Okay, yeah. Like I like I, I was I was legitimately upset when at like eight in the morning. I was on my way the complete opposite direction. I think I had to go up to Jasper to oh, visit one of the offices ooh. up there. So I'm on my way to Jasper. I worked. You ain't touched. I you worked, know in the state. Yeah, I, I worked for two different district managers, and the one was like, "Hey, I need you to go up to Jasper." And he called the, the other district manager. Call was like, "Hey, we got a security breach at the office in Utah. I need him down there ASAP because he was out of town. So he had to drive back from where he was and then drive to Utah to meet me." Oh, right. you got compensated well for that. I got I got paid mileage. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. And, and some overtime. You, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you definitely gonna get some mileage oh, that, that was, in Utah. That was my. They asked me to go back down there. I said absolutely not. No. I, pay, I paid someone to go. <laughs> I said, "Hey, you want to make some extra money today?" <laughs> Take this car, rent a rent a U-Haul, and go clean that Utah office out. I'm not going back. There. Uh, shout out to Utah, Green <laughs> County, something County, stand up, sit back down. Absolutely not. <laughs> we got way off track from talking about uh, Nipsey. Um, what else were we supposed to? Talk? Oh, Lil Nas X. Oh wait, before we do that, can I just say real quick? We talk about Lil Nas X. Tom Dundon is an asshole. All right. <laughs> What? Wait, what? Tom, oh, yeah, Tom, Tom, Tom Dunn. Dunn. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. Ryan, 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 oh, man. Ryan's okay. beloved alliance of American football is folded. Dude, well, not folded, such, but suspended operations. It was such a great idea. And that man just came in. He bought it for the app. He's an app. He, he wants the app. He yeah. wants the app. And he shut it down as soon as he Because the app. moment I saw the app, I was like, that's a great idea. That's a good app. Uh, MGM bought into it, though. Yeah. That was the thing. You got Vegas on your side. That's, that's money. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, Lil Nas X, Billy Ray Floyd. <laughs> um, <clears throat> number one, I'm tired of the Lils. They can't even be creative with rap names no more. But we've been having Lils for like I, two decades. But Lil Nas decades. X, he is did he, he combine? Did he combine? Okay, his defense, his name is actually Nas. Nas. Yes. In the, in the, his name is actually Nas here in his defense. That's what, but see, he's young enough to probably be named after Nas. To actually be named after Nas. Or is so what's he supposed Eric to be supposed to do? His middle yeah. name might be Shakur. What's he supposed to do then? Yeah. Nasir Nas Shakur. <laughs> Nas Nasir Shakur. Whatever. You you could have just been Lil Nas. You had to be Lil Nas. He had to throw on the X so to no, add no, a little didn't. more distinction. No, he didn't. You gotta put some no, flavor. No, some spice. because he didn't want to take the white man's last name, so he put an X at the end. <laughs> Lil Nas X. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Billy Ray Sides floated on that fucking remix. I, look, oh, uh, but it is flames. <laughs> All these jokes are hilarious. <laughs> I want Dolly so, Parton. So, I want Dolly Parton and Reba McIntyre. Hey, hey, if Dolly Parton drop that, Dolly Parton get on it. If Dolly Parton drop that remix, boy. <laughs> hey, he should do like the the one like the one the one blood remix and just have like <laughs> just have like twenty country singers on there. It's thirty minutes long. <laughs> yeah, but, There's no break. Right. It's like <laughs> doing like a reggae song remix. <laughs> So first of all, I have not listened to I listened to the original I listened to like thirty seconds of the original Old Town Road and I cut the shit off. Okay. Because I have a thing about people using auto tune and still being flat. But I did. I did the same thing as you. And then the remix came out. Look, listen, and I, the I remix like the original. Out. Like I don't need the remix. Hold on. I'm not talking about the merits of the record. I, I, I'm talking about when the story came out, the country kicked him off the, the billboard oh, chart. Yeah. Cause, cause my thing was like, alright. I'm not mad at country. I wish hip hop would do more of that. 
There's a there's a certain uh, country artist doing hip hop stuff right now who shouldn't be here, uh, who shall remain nameless. Does his uh, name sound like a, a basketball move? Yes. And his last name <laughs> yeah. sound like a basketball player? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that guy. It's Post Malone. <laughs> well, I didn't want to say his name. I don't like giving I don't like giving pub to people I don't like. I'll say it's all right. He doesn't look like he takes bath. But. <laughs> But I was like, you know what? He's trolling country music. I'm not mad at him. Have a blast. Mm -hmm. Troll away. Troll away. My issue is not with the remix, because I'm sure Billy Ray, Billy Ray did float. You need you need to hear. <laughs> I don't want to hear. You this. need to have your life. <laughs> no, I don't. Because I was saying <laughs> last night was a terrible night, and then I heard that, and I was like, you know what? I, I, my thing, that thing my, is my, my life is my life is okay the way it is right no, now. No, it can be I don't, better. I don't, I, don't, can I, don't, be better. I don't want it better. <laughs> be better. I'm good with the level it is right now. Billy Ray talking about Maseratis and Fendi's beauty yeah. supply and all that, man. Yeah. You need to, but, you need to get on there. So I wake up this morning and everybody's like, oh, ha, 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 jokes on you, country. I'm like, country don't give a damn about this. Billy Ray Cyrus said, hold my cousin. <laughs> well, number one, they kicked Billy Ray off the country charts because yeah. they said he wasn't country enough. Okay, and so, he said... Well, no, no, no. Billy, I, I like Billy Ray getting on the record with the kid. I, yeah. I, think that, I think that's great. I'm talking about the people acting like this is some kind of big win for black music versus country. No, all country's going to do is see, okay, this is popular. They're going to give that same formula to a white kid and it's going to blow up. And well, they're gonna gentrify Trump. Well, well that's, that's <laughs> happened already. But, like, but no, but, and I always refer to that fucking song "I'm Drunk on the Plane," which is basically a rap song in country form. So right, 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 right. But but Sam that, Hunt, shout out to Sam Hunt, UAB. Um, Sam Hunt been basically doing this style of country for a few. Sam years. Hunt actually fired, man. He, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying just saying that not, because he's but, affiliated with the city. But. Right, but Sam Hunt, like Sam Hunt, has been doing what Lil Nas X just did. But Sam Hunt right, didn't right. use trap beats. Right, but it's so, the same thing. Right, but now they just gonna go get that person trap beats and it's gonna blow up and they gonna act like Lil Nas X ain't exist. That's why I'm looking into all y'all. Like y'all didn't win nothing for 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 urban music versus country. Country don't give a damn. They as long control as he's shit. charting, I don't care where he charting. As long as he's charting, that's cool. I mean, but. Dude was a meme. And to be honest, when December comes around and we looking at all the memes from the year and we laughing like, ah, y'all remember when Old Town Road yeah, yeah, I remember was Town Road, yeah. That's exactly what's going to happen. We yeah. know what this is. We've yeah. been through this story oh, yeah. with all the Vine stars and all oh, yeah. the Vine artists. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Like, I, I, I don't support trolling art in general. Mm -hmm. Shouts to him. Get your money. Get your money. I'm more, more talking about everybody acting like uh, country music gives a damn about its success. Oh, they just gonna take it and give it to some random white kid named Hunter but, or Baker yeah. or if Dolly Parton Stone. Gets, if Dolly Parton, <laughs> give me, if give Dolly me Dolly Parton, Parton, give me Dolly Parton, Brooks, Reba McIntyre, Tim McGraw can jump on. Somebody gave me a suggestion. Tim McGraw might be a good okay. Fit. Okay, I'd be fine with that. He can redeem himself from over and over. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we can. If we get those three, <laughs> look, if we just get Dolly. Just get Dolly. That's all I want. All I want is Dolly Parton on the remix. On part three. And let her come in like, um, like damn, um, Patty LaBelle on the lead. Well, well, I'm gonna take my horse <laughs> on that old town road. Just, just clear the lane for Dolly Parton. All she gotta do is she can just do it in the cadence of Jolene. And I'll be okay. <laughs> yes. That's all I want. It's just I just want Dolly Parton to just sniff the record. That's it. That's that's all she gotta do. You do it like the Touch It remix. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Which by the way, DMX on the Touch It remix might be one of the most disappointing things. Like that was tailor made for DMX. He was it was, and he didn't do he didn't, but do, he didn't do DMX. He sounded unnecessary on it. Like no. This is the monster. So this is the monster. <laughs> it's like, what you doing? Are you okay? It's, it's no more unnecessary than, than the guy who once got a haircut with a fitted cap on. Yeah, tattooed the burrow. I, I'm not disrespecting him. Cap who's got a line up with a, hey, he had a hat on. A fitted. Yeah. A fitted. Yes. That's why I would, like, he's a legend for that alone. <laughs> that and he once posed in a project hallway banister, like standing perfectly on the beam. Doing so, I was like, "Yo, Papoose oh, yeah, is a legend. Like, yeah. Papoose is a legend. Yeah. I would never disrespect Papoose, Papoose man. But that, I, 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 I give that happy Pappy. Yeah. Because first off, not only am I, I afraid heard. of Papoose because he once got a the haircut with the fitted, but I'm afraid of his wife. And his wife got hair while driving. Just him, remember? Yeah. You know? yeah. Like in the lean back video, she'll get hair while driving. Like, so like, they are perfect match. Like, they like, doing shit that they're supposed to be like, like even who, physically who, possible. Who, who do? Who, in like, that scenario, who's guiding? Look, I don't know because that's, that's a crash. Yeah, I'm not like the other scenario. The other way is a crash is, is likely a crash. But if you talk about the scenario that way, you y'all dying. 
Well, it's Rumi Ma, man. and she survived. Yes, multiple times. Multiple times. And shot somebody. And shot somebody. Allegedly. Yeah. And ruined Nicki Minaj's career. Yeah. I, th I think mouth that's more cardio. Than well, I mean, she started. I, yeah, yeah, she, she was she, the she, 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 she showed the chink in the armor. Yes. And then Cardi came through unbothered and yeah. Yeah. Which shouts to Cardi. Shout out to Cardi. Shout out um. for everything but that. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to her for some other things. Please. Are you okay? Hey, um. I'm good, man. You sure? I'm good. You sure? Hey, um. What? I was okay. I'm good. All right. I'm just saying. All right, offset. Megan Stallion, shout out to her too. He's he's busy, clearly, but I'm just saying she's a very. I'm together again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Late. Yeah. It's yeah. okay. It's, yeah. He don't act like it, but oh. they are. Yeah. It's. I mean, we'll be here again. And yeah. We'll be, it's about a, <clears throat> soon as that. Soon as that happened, I was like, damn, I'm really the only nigga in America that can't get his ex back. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah. Hey, so what y'all what y'all about to do? I gotta see listen, brother here. Listen, yeah, there's yeah. no there's nothing yeah. more messed oh, up than one after oh, Avengers man. Endgame drop. <laughs> and I tweeted AJ. I tweeted Pastor uh till death do you part. <laughs> and Bruh. then I put my ex in a picture of Wong. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go protect the funny thing. I'll holler at you. <laughs> so what's oh, y'all about to get into? What y'all about to do? You know, you know what kills me? Wong was the first person I saw with the promotion for Endgame. <laughs> They the dropped the Fallen first. So I'm weak because Wong, the mess of who I'm gonna beat up. <laughs> <laughs> the apocalypse is occurring, and Wong was like, yo, I gotta, hey, man, I, I gotta I take care of Yeah, I, I gotta go protect the sanctum. Gotta, the sanctum gotta, will be destroyed. Just, and people are trying to make sense of that. Like, oh, he gotta protect the sanctum. <laughs> niggas is dissolving. But, but, but niggas is disappearing. <laughs> niggas is dissolving. And he's part of the front of my house. And he was like, there's a, there's a hallway. <laughs> Look, I was, watch, I was the watching it the other night. Like he just hit banner with. <laughs> yeah, hey, like, he said, "Hey, but shit." Uh. Okay, <laughs> let me say it this way: because I was I was late to the party with the Avengers movie. I wasn't able to see it when it first came out, but I saw it a few months later. And so I saw all the jokes about Wong, and I was like, all right, surely it's just Twitter, like, nah, joking, nah, exaggerating. Nah, nah, no, nah. that nigga was, <laughs> like, nah. he, he was like, one scene, he's there defending everything, and like, this nigga, like, like, this nigga quit already in the hey, portal when he said, I'll holler at y'all, like, boom, he, hey, he, hey, he, he like, did his banner and said, he, said so, he, he literally said to Banner, so what you about to do? <laughs> <laughs> like, the, like, those were his words, like, so, so what you finna do? Because uh, I'm about to go back. All I wanted was a sandwich. Right. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't trying to fight I no wasn't trying to fight. That like, I you know, was, I was trying, my boss was finna buy me a sandwich. Like he, he had his pastrami on rye he was about to have. <laughs> like, he and was then, like, I'm straight. Yeah. I'm good. Like, I ain't wow. planning on fighting today. Like, nah, yeah. he did. He really did. The first <laughs> opportunity. He's like, oh, this nigga can lift up concrete? Nah. nah. With, nope. his, with his brain? With his brain? Like, yeah, people nah. disappear, he's just looking out the window like, this is wild. This is wild. <laughs> he wasn't even looking out the window. He's trying to the chair. This is wild. <laughs> Listen to Ella Fitzgerald records. He, he, he opened up that portal and said, this is beyond me. <laughs> I can't do this. People disappear, disappear. <laughs> Walk in. I'm out. He probably went to the sanctum in Hong Kong. He was like, you know what the hell with this nah, shit? I ain't doing this. I ain't Stone already nah. gone. Why I ain't even going to be in New York. I'm out. Right. I'm Gucci. <laughs> what New York got to offer me? <laughs> no. Oh, man. Like, that. That that is one of the funniest. Like, it, yeah. And then he had the nerve. To, the actor had the nerve to tweet. <laughs> he was the first yeah. one. Avenge the Fallen. Avenge the Fallen. Where were you when the, when the giant spaceship was coming through the sky? Where were you? At the crib. Up to the fish market. What kind of tea supposed to be there? He ain't hit me. Just hit me. I'm gonna be right now. So okay. All right. Yeah. He. Yeah. I, I, I was the first one. Call T first though. I went. All right. Yeah. He. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Um. Just easy transition to comic book movies. Uh, the Joker trailer dropped. With, Absolutely fine. With, with, fire. With my, Absolutely with fine. With my distant cousin Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. He's, he's, well, I'm not actually related to him. His, I'm sure he is. I'm sure Absolutely he is. fire. His, his family actually changed their name when they got Yeah, they changed their name. Yeah, yes. like, yeah. yeah. yeah didn't know where like, Phoenix was Puerto Rican. You were the yeah. only person that liked Suicide yeah. Squad. Thought he was just like, like if you Like, if you see, um, like, Rain Phoenix and, like, the rest of them. Oh, like, yeah, the rest, like, of, like, the rest they of them look, look like yeah. The River Phoenix look like yeah. just, look like I'm, I'm not a straight up white dude. I'm not offering the white people here because I love her to death, but I think she's the only person that actually enjoys Suicide Squad. Whoa! Whoa! Put, let's put Joker over here. Let's, um, it's, it's, please explain yourself. I love that movie. It was awesome. See, I like action movies. Okay, plenty of action. I love the Joker character. 
I did. I did. It was okay. What you got so to understand modern. is I'm not in the comments like y'all. I know. She, but, but you into good movies, a right? Perspective. It of, depends on what the movie is. I just want the action box. Okay. Okay. I'm, no, no. I mean, like, it's I Marshawn Lynch. Lynch. Well, hold on. I, okay. I enjoyed the first three Transformer movies, and only the first one was really good. So I'm all about gratuitous action. Right. So my barometer for bad movies was my was my ex. Like seriously, she like loved bad movies. Man, well. Are you okay? She hated that movie. <laughs> no, I was okay. bring, I was bringing. All right, okay. okay. No, right. she right. she hated that movie, and I was like, damn, she hate this. It really got to be trash. Cause I hate a movie, and she be like, nah, this is pretty good. So yeah, that's okay. You, okay, okay. you like worse movies than the that's how than that's the person who likes are. the worst movies yeah. I know. That's how we are. Cause she was like, she likes stuff I don't like because she just appreciates the action in the moment of this is the movie I'm enjoying this experience okay I'm out I have yeah, no I other really investment really care about the emotion and that's cool I like love story I like action I don't care too. about the that's talking why. I'm just like can you hurry up and get back to what you was doing yeah explosive that's, that's, that's shit that's, 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 exactly. look, that's why I like the Wick movies that's why I like that's why I like, like, that's why I like the yeah. Raid movies that's why I like yeah. John Wick I, but Suicide Squad is so bad it's so, it's it's so, so terrible what, like what what's bad about it everything what you mean Every single that, part the of the movie is just like why? There's, like, there's not no, there's not a single redeemable moment in that movie. Like, like they just not. they just get dropped in the city and nothing. Like they're just walking. It's, it's like playing through a bad RPG. Yeah, like that's, I mean, they're exactly just walking right. through the city. They shoot that they some needed, people occasionally. They needed more into the movie. It, yeah. it was something missing. The villain was terrible. Like a movie. Like a movie was missing. That's what was missing. <laughs> like like so, a, a plot, a like, setting. So, um, it's like a they, character they just rush through it. Okay. quality. Like yeah, because through it. like they just drop. It all happens in one night, and the the pacing is just. And I hate using technical film terms like pacing, but the pacing was bad. Yeah, like the, the 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 worst comic book movie I've ever seen is the Josh Trank Fantastic Four. Oh God! Well, hold on, let me take that back. Catwoman is the worst. Like, I've Catwoman never, I've never so actually bad. seen Catwoman. I've, I've just seen the clips. Okay, and so here's the thing with Catwoman. I remember when it first came out, and everybody was hyped for it. And I remember before. No. You like you like Catwoman too? No. What? Ryan, turn the camera. <laughs> Ryan. What? Ryan. How? Brian, we Please have, tell me. Brian, we gotta have a talk. There's no way that's possible. Brian, we gotta have a talk, bro. The, the basketball scene the alone. The basketball scene alone. Alone. You just watch the basketball scene. No, I like Catwoman. Okay, let's continue. Hold on. We'll listen, continue listen. Here. I'm just. I want listen, you to just watch this scene while it's we do so this. bad that Halle Berry in a skin tight leather outfit wasn't enough to save it. Like that's enough to give you like half a good movie right there. Yeah. <laughs> like right there. That's, that's enough. Just, it's so bad on so many levels. After the chicken sandwich commercial. <laughs> but, I just want like, to watch it with an Suicide open Squad is closer to Fantastic Four because Fantastic Four is an hour, hour and a half long trailer for a movie that never happened. And Galactus. Like, you're just, just, you're just waiting. No, no, not the second Fantastic Four. Oh, you're right, you're right. The, the one where, with, with Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> And here's the uh, thing, like the way the movie opens, I'll be like, okay, this is not gonna be yeah. this is overblown. It's not gonna be that bad. And then like nothing happens for an hour and twenty five minutes. And you're like, and then like, there's hey, money there's a five money. minute fight at the end and it just goes off. Like, you know what? There's four of us. We're pretty fantastic. We're the fantastic four. It's and, a, then, and then the camera goes. It's, a, it's an hour and a half trailer for a movie that never happened. Yeah. That, okay, that is. so <laughs> Halle Berry's movements when she first got the basketball, those camera angles and things like that. That's I mean, the whole that was, movie, though. That's, that's, the, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the whole movie. No, but it's fine every other way. It's not fine right there. This like, is the this is a entire this movie. Is, no. Like the entire movie is just. This is the, but it's fine. No, it is not. No, I'm sorry. Like you are entitled this to your opinion. Okay. This is not okay. It is. This is not. And the only reason I'm showing you this on camera is because I love you. <laughs> like, oh, okay. and I just want. Listen, okay. like there there are some abominable, abominable comic book movies. Fantastic Four, Catwoman, Ang Lee's Hulk, which is just the Hulk Ooh. jumping through the desert for two hours, bro, and Hulk dogs. So <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? Like, no, like, now I'm re really remembering the movie. What the fuck, man? Like, Dragon Ball Evolution. Like, there are some yeah. bad okay, adaptive we properties. We don't bring that one up. We just let you, that one go. You, you, know you, know you know what I hate the most about Dragon Ball Evolution? Was that a black man wrote it. 
Oh. Did he really? Oh. Yes. He he actually was on Twitter a few years ago apologizing for like, how bad the movie never, He was like, I'm so sorry that this movie, movie was so movie. bad. I just want to put that out there. I just, I like, Dragon, just, Dragon Ball Evolution, right, was, Dragon Ball Evolution was terrible. It was so bad. It was terrible. It's so bad that you know how you can like watch a bad movie and laugh at how bad it is? You can't. I can't even, you can't watch even do that. It's so like, bad. What is this? I tried. It was on FX one. I said, you know what? This movie wasn't as bad as I thought it was. It and was. I cut it on. It's worse than 10 you minutes remember. into it. But you know what's worse? And I wish Courtney was here so she could flip out about it. Avatar. The Last Day of Render. <sighs> and we just found out that we would have gotten season four of, if, of, if, not if, for if not for the movie. They they scrapped season four to work on the so, movie. To make the movie, yeah. 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 M. Night actually wanted them to work on season four, but they were like, nah, we're going to put our all into this movie. So now I can't even be mad at M. Night. Now I got to be mad at production. No, you can totally be not you still mad, be mad at M. Night. I mean, I can be mad Cause, at Because here's my beef with that movie. They took the best parts of the first season when they're traveling through the Earth Kingdom and, and just montage. montaged it. Yep. <laughs> you like, you montage the best like, moments of the first season to fast forward, like basically, to, to, like to the worst part of the, to, of the, to, of the, to, of the uh, second season. To uh, what was the admiral's name? Uh, to, uh, to him frying a fish. <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically, the movie is like the whole movie is like yada yada yada. That's the entire movie. It's like all right, there's Avatar, Zuko. Admiral, Admiral. I will argue though that that movie. Yada yada yada. Now I didn't need fish. M Night, but <laughs> please stop breaking up the fish. <laughs> it didn't need M Night. <laughs> it could have used a better director, but that movie was made before the time that we were used to trilogies for hero movies. That movie could have very well been done in a three-part trilogy. Yeah. In cinematic form, because without M Night Shyamalan. But it very well could have been. Well, done. we're getting Cause, cause, back cause, to the TV series now. Because here's the thing: like visually, that the movie on well, this fine. Part. The the CG was fine. By visually the original was writers. fine, but and everybody was white. Yeah, well, everybody yeah, was everybody white. was white. Everybody yeah, was white. Yeah. Well, well, outside of uh, Asif Manvi. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, um, One. Great job. And, um, Congratulations. And Dale and Dale Patel. Yeah, Dale Patel. Two. I'm sorry. Yeah. We doubled the quota. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they're doing a live action series on Netflix from the original creators. Okay, I'm with it. Yeah, I was like, you know what, I'll give it a chance. It's been long enough since that abomination yeah, known as the last air bender. You gonna watch it with me? No, okay. No, you didn't like she, Avatar? She won't watch Suicide Squad. Cool. Hey, I can make fun of her. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't let this go. All right, so um, Joker. I can't let this go. I love her. Yeah, so Joker, yeah. Um, I, I like it, I'm ready for it. Yeah, it looks, it, it honestly, you, okay, go ahead. Got it. Let's let's do some let's do some history here because it looks like an episode of Atlanta. That's who. But yeah, Child is and and and, and, and Wag. But yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, basically, Martin Scorsese was Wack. going to Wack. write and direct this movie, but now he's just a executive <laughs> producer. Um, the the only reason for concern is that it's directed by Todd Phillips, who made the Hangover trilogy and Due Date. But it looks it looks fantastic. Well, he did make the first Hangover. Yeah, he did make it the first, but and that's the, the most important one. Which yeah. is which is probably the movie I've seen most in theater. No, yeah. Avengers is followed by Hangover. Like, dude, Hangover was so that's Hangover was so fun. Around, I turned around, around and watched it again, movie. like the same day. So yeah. No, I, I got in I got in an argument about um, Inception once. And, uh, no, actually, it's Inception, Avengers, then Hangover. Okay, I was okay, I was I was, I was, I was, argue, I was arguing with uh, one of my uh, yeah, I don't know which one, Sprite. Oh, you mean Sprite? Yeah, I don't know what you I know um, what you're pointing at. I was like, this yeah, is her I, No, no. I, <laughs> Leave her I, alone. I was arguing with co-workers about whether or not Dom was asleep or awake. So we would like, after work, we would just go watch Inception Theater. We did that for like a week straight. The thing, the thing, is, the thing is Dom is awake though. He's asleep. He's awake. The original screenplay says that he's asleep. But anyways, he's, the he's, Joker. He's awake. Go. <laughs> he is awake. <laughs> he is asleep. He is awake. The Joker. Um, the Joker. Looks also, good. He's awake. We can do this off camera. <laughs> <laughs> we can go watch that right now. There's no watching. I'm telling you, he's, a, he's in a coma. <laughs> Inception. Never mind. Before he's both. <laughs> never mind. Um, Joker looks good. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. My beef with it is the new comic book fans. Hashtag new comic fans whom I hate. The the people who just started watching these oh, movies when Black elitist. Panther came out. You're an elitist. No, it's it's the new Black Panther crowd, the Blavities. Blavities. Who are on there talking about uh. 
Why can't we have a black Joker? Because no, there, there, are, there are why, two, why, why Michael can't we Jordan for Joker? No, here's the thing. There are two factions of, of fans that I hate here. I hate the we must overthrow Heath Ledger faction. Like every single villain since Heath Ledger is is better than Heath Ledger. Okay, Joker. but that's how I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop you real quick. That's how we know Heath Ledger killed it. Exactly. No, no, exactly. We know. You just made my point. But, we know because they back. overrate two movies he wasn't even in. But, right, right. But, but going back, <laughs> all the trilogy got inflated. You just made my point. Heath Ledger came yeah. in and was you like, "You made my point." Yo, this is and, my and movie. And then there's the other there's the other faction. Heath Ledger broke the Joker. There shall be no other Joker. That's not how comic books work. There are different iterations. There, are even, there isn't even one confirmed iteration of Joker in the comics. Right. Like there are like ninety Joker variations you get based. That's the beauty of the Joker. Right. Like there's no definitive origin with him. So you can make the joke. You can make him a, a goofy clown. You can make him a psychotic murderer. You can make him a dude who cut his own face off and stapled it back on. Okay. Like, but what? Uh, let me. Let you me make him a mobster. When's the, when's the last time we had? A comic book villain origin story. Um, maybe, uh, maybe Magneto in first class. Yeah, but it wasn't yeah. all about him. Well, Com funny enough, it was supposed to. My wife, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> it started off as a Married four years. You see why I have two kids now. <laughs> <laughs> um, that it started off as. Uh, X Men Origins Magneto, and then it morphed into first class. But that's all it's for. But no, we haven't really had a movie that is focused solely around one a comic book villain right. origin. My bad. No, um, and so that's kind of my thing because we're now we're sitting at a place that's that's sort of unique, and now it kind of opens the door. If this movie performs well, which we you will. look at it because will. I'm buying a million tickets, it so. looks like it's going to be fantastic. So now, and that might be DC's thing where they can kind of rebound. And As I wrote in my can, post, and people call me DC crazy, has better villains. I told I told people DC, that on DC that. has the right formula when they say, you know what, we're gonna step away from the DCEU and we're gonna make one-off movies. The Batman, which the Ringer just copied that post by the way. I was reading it earlier when they were talking about the <laughs> There you go. Pay us. I wrote, I wrote that post like a year and a half ago. Pay us. Yeah. Money so, yeah. We're doing well, by the way. We're doing well. Money. We're not doing like, let me retire well, but we're doing well. We're not doing buy us. We're not doing like, let's stop working well. Yeah. No. <laughs> if we buy us, then we'll be doing good that well. But yeah, but yeah, basically. We'll happily sell out. DC's character library is so rich that they could do these. Eh, ain't going to go that far. The stories, the stories, yeah, the, the stories, yeah, the, the stories, stories, the stories, the stories. But I think you could take the different angle of doing the villain or the anti-hero. But the thing is, you something. could make twelve different Joker movies and they could all be good because the Joker has that many stories. But the general public, and it, it depends on how you format it and how you. Promote. Right, right, right. I'm saying you right. could, you could take like an anthology series and do a. You could do like a Joker series on HBO with right. twelve different takes on the Joker, and it would be great. Because because here's here's the thing about the. Um, because the with connected DC, universe, it's like the stories. Yeah, here's the thing about the lack of the connected universe. Nobody really cares because they yeah. were like, "Oh, is this um, Man of Steel connected to the Dark Knight?" Like when that first came out, it's like, "Oh, is this like what? How how is there a new Batman when there just was a Batman?" So right. people don't right. care about this connected universe. If you just tell them like, "Hey, a, story. a Batman movie is coming, a Joker movie is coming," they'll go watch it. Right. Okay, so what would be wrong with the Joker and Suicide Squad and his story? Well, I, I didn't know. No, no, okay, here's the here's thing. I didn't like, have a beef with Jerry. Like, like, Joker. Whoa, I, like, oh, Jerry, a, jo a Joker like, is defined by fine. its Batman to me. Yeah. Because the the a, j a good Joker is always going to be the other side of the coin to its Batman. Okay. We don't know what Jared Leto's Joker would have been because there wasn't enough screen time with Ben Affleck. Mm -hmm. Given what Ben Affleck's Batman was, a hardened old a-hole, a... A mobster, psychotic Joker works as the opposite of that. We just didn't get to see it enough. So I didn't have a beef with Jared Leto's Joker, but it's like an old saying: you never want to replace the man. You want to replace the man that replaced the man. Yeah. And that's why Joaquin Phoenix is getting a clean slate because everybody hated Jared Leto's Joker just because he wasn't Heath Ledger. So Joaquin Phoenix has the benefit of well, you're not Jared Leto. So it's just like whoever replaces Nick Saban at Bama is going to be hated. Whoever replaces the guy that replaces Nick Saban is yeah. going to be loved because you cannot replace the man. You have to replace the person that does that. So Jared Leto was in a no-win scenario regardless. Yeah. So I'm sorry, my you proposal know to that, my proposal to that is when Nick Saban leaves, shut down the program for like three years. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. it's only fair. Yeah. So I know. Do you know um, the name of the Joker's character? Joker? Andy Fleck. A Fleck. A Fleck. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So shout out to that. Yeah. Yeah, but that, that's the beauty of the Joker. There's no definitive origin. Yeah. DC has refused to give a definitive origin 
for the very reason of they don't want to ruin that mystery. This mm -hmm. is just one take on it. So yeah, I don't I don't mind what DC's doing. I think what DC's doing is great. So. Um, I'm I'm just irritated by all you people who think that because Heath Ledger owned the role, that he should be immortalized and one of the most popular villains ever should ever be used again. Are y'all nuts? Because that's like taking away from what Tommy Lee Jones did, what people before him did. I mean, you mean Jack, Jack Nicholson? Jack Nicholson, shit. Tommy Lee Jones was Two Face. I'm sorry, yeah. but you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Jack, yeah, Jack, Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson embodied that role. Exactly. We don't give him enough credit. And because a good Joker is always going to be the other side of the coin of his Batman, and yeah. that's who Jack Nicholson was in his role. Yep. So it, to me, I don't think Jared Leto was great, but I didn't see him enough with Batman to determine. Yeah, he I, didn't have enough. I, I never yeah. had any really any real interaction. Action with his back. Right. Yeah. Sure. Plus, you can only be as good as your material. A couple, couple of years. You can only be as good as your material. And the way he, the way he was given was kind of shit anyway. And, and, and also, ladies, please, it's not his fault. Please, please stop posting that picture of Harley Quinn and, and Joker and Suicide Squad <laughs> talking about would you live for me? Would you die? That was an abusive relationship. That's not what you want. Oh, or, yeah, or maybe you do and you need therapy. But either way, stop <laughs> posting that because it's unhealthy. Yeah, it's very unhealthy. Yeah. Harley, like, Harley Quinn and Joker's relationship is like all you like, have to do is watch the Batman cartoon and you'll yeah, see how toxic he, he yeah, is. Yeah, he slapped her around. Oh, slapped. Yeah, her. and that was on Saturday morning cartoons. Now yeah. imagine what it's like in the comic books. Mm -hmm. Can like, we like can we talk about that? Because that was on cartoons that we watched as children. Like yeah. we were just watching Harley Quinn get physically abused. I, I mean, they we change cartoons. We, we, we could we could, we could also we could also talk about like Animaniacs and all the inappropriate jokes. Yeah, <laughs> that were on Animaniacs. Leave Animaniacs alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm saying Leave Freakazoid alone. I'm saying Freakazoid can be Batman and fight. <laughs> Dust for Prince. But here's the thing: like comes Prince. back holding Prince. Here's the no, thing: no, like, no, a lot of stuff Prince. Prince. A lot of Prince. I don't think so. Come on, man. <laughs> a lot of that, stuff, that joke alone. A lot of that stuff flew over my head Hold until on. I watched there it as an adult. I was there like, was, Wait. There was an episode where they were running around yelling Heidi Fleiss. Yes! Or yes! Yes! yes. yes. <laughs> if you don't know who Heidi Fleiss is, Google that and you'll understand why that's so inappropriate. If you if you don't know, for the general gist is if you don't feel like Googling, because most of y'all are gonna just forget at the end of this. Heidi Fleiss was basically a Hollywood uh pimp. pimp where she was basically pimping out girls to uh, people in Hollywood like that was the thing that happened in the 90s and it was maybe two or three years removed from it and the maniacs was like let's Heidi make Fleiss. jokes Heidi 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 no <laughs> they made it a musical like that's the best part I love that cartoon none of that stuff should have happened yeah, I no, learned no. my state capitals from that cartoon and I also learned that uh Prince was kind of a feminine in terms of the things that he liked. Like that shouldn't happen in a Saturday morning cartoon. I should not know Prince. those two things. <laughs> like the fingerprint should not be a thing that the, existed. The look he made, he was like, they, it, yeah, yeah, he, he was like, he, was like, he fainted, <laughs> yeah, in like, happiness. Or, when or, they said, or, or even the Ren and Stimpy saw. Yeah, the the saw and chopping the wood. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the slapping around is probably. It's par for the course with the cartoons that we watch growing up. Yeah, right. Like honestly, yeah. Like because Ren and Stimpy shouldn't have been on TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> should have been, should have been on Nickelodeon. Yeah. I, my cousins weren't either. My, yeah, my, I we was because you know, my mom was just like whatever. Was my mom would let us watch the Smurfs because she thought oh, this was when like my mom went through like a real religious phase. It's like we couldn't watch the Smurfs because they had magic in it, mm -hmm. and then like we couldn't watch Darkwing Duck because he started off with I am the terror that flaps in the night. Okay, and we like my Darkwing I'm, Duck. This is why I'm thankful. <laughs> this is why I'm thankful for having quick. older parents. Mom, Dad, I love you. Um, this is why I'm thankful for having older parents. Oh, that was lifted by your seven. We were watching South Park. Well, I, I understand that. Well, I, remember, I remember that conversation that we had. Shout out to Wood Jr. I'm going to cross promote here. Where Wood Jr. did an episode of those greatest cartoons of all time. You should check it out. Also, he has a new series coming out. Jefferson, Jefferson County. County. Jefferson County. Yeah, he's shooting in the city. Yes. With so, Aaron McGruber. Shout out to, to Roy Wood Jr. I just want to meet Aaron McGruber. I do too. So, Roy, if you're listening, help us out. Let us meet Aaron. Um, let us meet Aaron. <laughs> Uh, I want to know how he channeled my life into Huey Freeman. <laughs> with that said, he basically made a pretty good point in terms of, um, I forgot my point, but <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll move on. Uh, yeah, we were talking about- My uh, parents are older. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So with my parents being older, they didn't really care because they were like, we're not really going to screw it up with you. So watch what you want and we'll just deal with the consequences of it later. Yeah. I was glad my mom got out of that phase because uh, I think I was like eight or nine and our friends were talking about South Park. And we were like, Mom, yeah. you gotta let us watch South Park. And she was like, all right, I'll watch it with y'all. She laughed. <laughs> yeah. And, and we was like, oh, nah, shit. Never she never let us watch that. it. Yeah. She turned around and said, all right, y'all can watch this. 
If I catch y'all saying, repeating, or doing anything you see on the show, yeah. I'm gonna whoop y'all's here, here, ass. Here's, here's the thing. That is how I was able to watch South so, Park at age eight. So first time I watched South Park with my mom, it was the, it was the movie. And um, you know they were looking oh, for the, God. you know they were looking for the clitoris throughout the movie. Oh no! <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was like, Mom, what's the clitoris? Oh no! <laughs> it's just like, yeah, you don't watch South Park again. Oh jeez. Yeah. I was like, they, they're looking for the clitters throughout the whole movie. What's the clitters? We gotta find oh, the, no. the clitters. Yeah. Oh I've found it since then. So. <laughs> All there right. We <laughs> we're, we're at about an hour. It's probably going to stop in two I did too, twice. <laughs> yeah, this is something to, yeah. So anyways, yeah. kidsworkcrowds.com. Yeah. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Ryan. 2200shrimp.com. No. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. Subscribe to Don't Call It A Podcast. <laughs> Jess, you got oh. anything that you want to plug? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Archie Eversole, we're working on it. Yeah. Hopefully soon, here in the next two, three Roy weeks. Roy Wood, introduce, introduce us to Aaron Magruder, man. We can get him on the, on the podcast. I, I got I got some, I got a cartoon um, idea I want to Shout out to Charles, uh, at, uh, at the CSJR. The underscore the G, uh, CSJR. Our boy Chuck, um, who, makes, who makes all the memes of us. Yes, all the memes. If you see the memes, <laughs> From AJ, the show. Destroyed, AJ completely destroyed one of the memes. Now I'm guaranteeing apparently. <laughs> Bruh, um, no, Courtney did that. Somebody Courtney did, did that. that. Yeah, Courtney did that. Courtney somebody, did who, that. somebody who doesn't even follow Charles, Nate, like, 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 text me a picture of like of a meme. That's like, that's like, how did this picture go on Twitter? You know, you went on Twitter. I was like, it's a long story. Look, Look it's, it, it, it's so bad that like I'll text people the memes Charles makes me, and they'll be like, why did you meme yourself? Yeah. I'm like, I didn't, I didn't meme, meme myself. myself somebody it's a long, else did. Never mind. <laughs> but you know, I what? meme myself. But you know what? <laughs> the meme of me makes me look good, and that's fine. So I'm okay. But you that. also have the. Yeah, you're also like. Which I is, still look good there. So, so I so he has one where he's like holding his face and like every time a fine woman gets retweeted on my timeline, I retweet it and then post that. Yes, that's just my reaction. That is the thing. That is the thing that happened. <laughs> the funny thing also is well, shout out to Twitter because Twitter is a funny place. Um, shout out to the young lady that said that basically fathers work a nine to five, and I said that's not true, and she tried to call me ugly, and basically I'm not ugly. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's a funny Why? story, but I'm not ugly. And, Why? Um, Why give her? Like right, Twitter time? is so. Yeah, it's, that's it's fine. Twitter She'll never so see it. I don't care. Um, that, that is that is why I have a private account. Right. Well, no. The other funny thing is that's why I don't have an account. The other funny yeah, thing is people right, just yeah. be loud and wrong. Just loud. So loud. and it's fine. Just and so um, also shout out to. Private. I don't want to so, be on Twitter. Like, but you're I, on Twitter. Shout I, out but to I talk about blogs, though. Shout out to Coins to Continue. Before we are part. actually, I'm going to plug it here because it's the first time we're talking about it in public. KWC, don't call it a podcast, Coins to Continue. We're going to do the top video games of all time. It's happening. Um, we don't know when, but it's happening. Yeah, shout out to, mm-hmm. to Coins to Continue. Well, not, not I'm not shouting out Chuck. Because Chuck hates on me everybody, every chance. Everybody to alone. Chuck just Chuck doing hates on me every chance. Showing that he love gets. and all that kind of stuff. And you just out here being Chuck, angry and Chuck, bitter in Ohio. Chuck swears you know? up and down that every time I tweet something that I am either dirty macking or trying to simp on a follower. Which is no, so, I'm not. So, so you're no, not. I'm not. So no, you're no, no. Every time you're shooting your shot. No, I'm and not. You know with who? Let me. Let me. <laughs> Let me unplug my camera. That is completely like, the fact that you laugh. That is completely. You know, no. I know. I know what you're talking about. Every time about. I look that's, up, that's completely. You end that particular person's mentions. Flirting. Oh man, no. Pulling up. No. Okay. No. Okay. no. Not from three. Okay. No. No. Anyway. From the interior. Post up. Post up. No. Okay. No. I, mean, I, I, know, I know exactly what he knows what I'm talking about. I, I, I'll, I'll text her and tell and her to tune into this episode. No. Okay. No. Shout out to you because everything that happens is funny. Everything is funny. Anyways, everything is funny. Um, Billy Ray Cyrus floated on the remix. Get Miley Cyrus out of here. The only Cyrus we acknowledge is Billy Ray. Kidsworkcrowns.com. Twenty two hundred trim.com. Dot com. <laughs> Don't call the podcast. Dot com. Podcast. Going to, dot com. <laughs> going to continue. Politics as usual. Um, um, Two dollars smart. Shout out to uh, CJ. Um, shout out to uh, the committee podcast doing their thing. Shout out to. We bring love back. It's pretty much done. So you know that's that's on there in the archives. Um, who else we got on there? Barbershop. 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 Yeah. Oh, I was on the last episode. French fry debate. Make sure y'all check so that out. So we will be back with Avengers Endgame coverage. Yes, that'll be fun. 
Ron's gonna spoil everything. No, I'm not. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, oh, no, we're spoiling minutes. everything. Well, well yeah, because by the time the episode drops, it'll be 15 Monday, minutes. So. If you haven't watched it in game, just go pull <laughs> up an episode of Don't Call This Podcast. Yeah, um, and that, that episode also might be funny because uh, one of my nephews may be in town. And, uh, oh, that'd be good. Okay. He's a little adult. Okay. So that, and I. Hey, thank y'all cool. for uh, to, to letting us hijack your episode. Yeah, no problem. No problem. And be in love and shit on so camera. Man, I wish y'all could come down more often. I wish we could too, yeah. but you know, children. Yeah, children. Um, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to my baby, Vicky turning three next week. By the time Ron posts this, she'll man. have been three for a month. By the time it's it posted, it does time. It does. It does. It does fly. But yeah, well, um, again, thank, fly. thank, thank you to our gracious host at uh, Trim Grooming Lounge, twenty two hundred Trim dot com. Log on, book yourself a cut with one of the fine barbers that are in this establishment. Uh, we will see you in a couple weeks because I have to go to Dallas to be awarded some award at my company. Okay. Uh, which I don't want. Okay. But awesome still. Yeah, I guess. You did okay. it. You might want to 30 people being. Things you did. <laughs> Underscore that. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> we'll be back. See y'all next time. Invention. <laughs> One. Why, why is you? <laughs>